This video is a general step-by-step -step guide to running an R&D Systems Luminex assay. R&D Systems offers a range of Luminex assays and Luminex high-performance assays for simultaneously detecting and quantifying multiple target analytes in qualified complex sample types. To see a full list of available assays, visit rndsystems.com slash Luminex. In this video, we're running a magnetic human premixed Luminex assay. Standard and high-performance assays differ, so refer to your kit booklet throughout this video for specifics. This kit is for research use only and not for use in diagnostic procedures. All Luminex assays come with a 96-well plate, plate sealers, standards, streptavidin PE, and all necessary assay diluents. Depending on your kit, you'll receive either a vial of premixed microparticle cocktail and a vial of premixed biotin antibody cocktail or individual vials for you to mix. In addition to the kit contents, you'll also need a compatible instrument like a Magpix, Luminex 100-200, FlexMap 3D, or BioRad BioPlex a handheld microplate magnet or plate washer with a magnetic platform, a horizontal orbital microplate shaker capable of maintaining a speed of 800 plus or minus 50 RPM, a microcentrifuge, and general lab supplies. Some components in this kit contain a preservative which may cause an allergic skin reaction, so avoid breathing mist. Wear protective gloves, clothing, eye and face protection, and wash your hands thoroughly after handling. Refer to the SDS on our website prior to use. Now that we've collected all the required materials, let's get started. First, samples. Our assays are validated for various sample types. Refer to your kit booklet for more information. It's best to collect your sample right before you begin, but samples can be stored. If you must store your sample, freeze in single-use aliquots and refer to your kit booklet for specific collection, processing, and storage instructions. We recommend avoiding repeated freeze-thaw cycles. Once samples are ready, it's time to prepare our reagents. First, bring reagents to room temperature. This is important for optimal performance of the assay. While the reagents are warming, prepare your instrument. We recommend calibrating the instrument within one week of running the assay, and Luminex recommends that the instrument verification is performed the day of running the assay. Once your instrument is ready and your reagents have warmed to room temperature, prepare your wash buffer by adding 20 milliliters of wash buffer concentrate to 480 milliliters of deionized or distilled water in a graduated cylinder to yield 500 milliliters of wash buffer. The standards in your kit will differ depending on the analytes selected. Reconstitute each of the unique standard cocktails with the calibrator diluent provided in the kit. Refer to the certificate of analysis for reconstitution volumes. Allow the standard to sit a minimum of 15 minutes with gentle agitation prior to making dilutions. Do not vortex these standards. To prepare the diluted microparticle cocktail, first centrifuge the microparticle cocktail vial for 30 seconds at 1000 times the force of gravity. Then gently vortex the vial to resuspend microparticles while making sure not to invert the vial. Finally, dilute the microparticle cocktail using assay diluent RD2-1 in the mixing bottle provided. Refer to your kit booklet for specific volumes and be sure to protect microparticles from light. Next, prepare the diluted biotin antibody cocktail the same way you prepared the diluted microparticle cocktail. Centrifuge the vial for 30 seconds at 1000 times the force of gravity, then gently vortex the vial without inverting it. Dilute the biotin antibody cocktail in diluent RD2-1 and mix gently. Refer to your kit booklet for specific volumes. Now prepare the streptavidin PE. Streptavidin PE must be protected from light during handling and storage. Use a polypropylene amber bottle or a polypropylene test tube wrapped in aluminum foil. Centrifuge the streptavidin PE vial for 30 seconds at 1000 times the force of gravity. Then gently vortex the vial without inverting it. Dilute the streptavidin PE concentrate to a 1x concentration in wash buffer and mix gently. Refer to your kit booklet for specific volumes. Now we're ready to prepare samples. We recommend that all samples are centrifuged for four minutes at 16,000 times the force of gravity immediately prior to dilution. This hard spin separates cell debris that could interfere with the assay. All samples require a minimum one to two dilution. However, depending on the analyte of interest, your dilution will vary. Refer to your kit booklet or the R&D Systems website for the recommended dilution. About 15 minutes should have passed since you reconstituted your standard cocktail. Once reconstituted, each standard cocktail is a 10x concentrate. Use polypropylene tubes to combine the unique standard cocktails with the calibrator diluent according to your kit booklet to create standard one. 
In this video, we're using six unique standard cocktails to create our standard. So we'll add 100 microliters of each standard to 400 microliters of calibrator diluent to make a total volume of 1,000 microliters. Vortex gently to mix. Refer to the chart in your booklet if you're using a different number of standards, and if you're using more than 10 standard cocktails, refer to the attachment that came in your kit. To prepare the rest of your standard curve, pipette 200 microliters of calibrator diluent into five test tubes labeled two through six. Change pipette tips and pipette 100 microliters of standard one into your second tube to create standard two. Vortex gently to mix. Repeat this process for standards three through six, and be sure to change pipette tips between each standard tube. S1 serves as your high standard and contains all selected analytes at the concentration listed on the certificate of analysis. S6 serves as the low standard and calibrator diluent serves as a blank. Once you've prepared all reagents, standards, samples, and your instrument as directed by the kit booklet, it's time to load the plate. We recommend that all samples and standards be acid in duplicate. During the assay, remember to protect the diluted microparticle cocktail and streptavidin PE from light. First, add 50 microliters of standard, sample, or blank per well. Next, resuspend the diluted microparticle cocktail by vortexing. Add 50 microliters of the diluted microparticle cocktail to each well of the microplate containing standard, sample, or blank, and securely cover with a foil plate sealer. If you're running a partial plate, you can cut the plate sealer to cover the wells containing liquid and save the other section for your next assay. Now incubate for two hours at room temperature on a shaker at a 0.12 inch orbit set at 800 plus or minus 50 RPM. While incubating, set up your assay protocol on the instrument. For microparticle regions and high standard values, refer to the certificate of analysis. For instrument settings, refer to your kit booklet. If using a Luminex 100, 200, FlexMap 3D, or BioRad BioPlex, warm up the laser. After the two hour incubation, use a magnetic device designed to accommodate a microplate to wash your plate by applying the magnet to the bottom of the microplate. Allow one minute before removing the liquid. Then fill each well with 100 microliters of wash buffer and wait one minute before removing the liquid again. Do not blot as this may cause a loss of microparticles. Repeat this step one more time for a total of three washes. You may also use an auto washer if you have one available. Next, add 50 microliters of diluted biotin antibody cocktail to each well. Securely cover with a foil plate sealer and incubate for one hour at room temperature on the shaker. After incubating for one hour, repeat the wash step for a total of three washes. Again, you may use an auto washer if you have one available. Next, add 50 microliters of diluted streptavidin PE to each well. Securely cover with a foil plate sealer and incubate for 30 minutes at room temperature on the shaker. After the 30 minute incubation, repeat the wash step for a total of three washes. Finally, resuspend the microparticles by adding 100 microliters of wash buffer to each well. Incubate for two minutes on the shaker, set at 800 plus or minus 50 RPM, and read immediately using your instrument. This concludes the Magnetic Human Premix Luminex Assay Protocol. Find the assay that's right for you with the Luminex Assay Ordering Tool at rndsystems.com luminex. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful protocols, and if you have any questions or concerns about running your Luminex assay, visit rndsystems.com or contact us.